Well, she wants answers and an apology. But so far, a pet owner has received neither from a Holly Springs veterinarian who used a cutting edge medical procedure on her dog with disastrous results. Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis discovered there's no government licensing when it comes to a particular machine. Huh, Randy? That's right, Sanan Tom. Yeah, some athletes swear by it. Hospitals sometimes use hyperbaric chambers to help burn victims. But this involves a family dog originally rescued from a shelter and what could have been done to avoid a tragedy. He was just goofy and loved everybody. He gets along, got along great with other animals. He's just a great dog. He's my best friend. But last summer, 11 year old Casanova struggled with arthritis. So Aaron Drum agreed to let her Holly Springs veterinarian try oxygen therapy. One hour sessions inside this hyperbaric chamber where she was told the ultra rich oxygen could ease his pain. He was able to move a little bit better at first. Um, but again, I don't know if it was the oxygen or if it was the medications. Casanova's last visit to My Pets Vet would be August 22nd, 2015. Aaron and her four-year-old son were waiting in a separate room for the session to end when they heard a noise, then a scream, then rushed to evacuate the clinic along with Dr. Waller. He told me that there was an accident with Casanova. I said, well, is he okay? And he said, no, he's not okay. Um, he didn't make it. And that's where he told me that the chamber had exploded. The hyperbaric chamber had somehow caught fire with Casanova inside. According to a police and fire investigation, a battery operated fan likely ignited the saturated oxygen. Dr. Waller told investigators he placed the fan inside the chamber because he wanted to keep things cool, something he had done on himself numerous times. He was crying. I was crying. After I found out, I felt like my heart had just been ripped out of my chest. I'm sorry. <laughs> According to the report, Dr. Waller said Casanova must have done something to start the fire inside the chamber. Dr. Waller blamed your dog. Yeah. Investigators ultimately determined that Casanova's death was an accident and no charges were ever filed. But inside the many pages of the case file, we came across a startling fact. According to the manufacturer, that hyperbaric chamber should never have been used. Dr. Waller bought a second-hand hyperbaric chamber, a device that had been in use since 1989. The investigative pictures show a Crawford Long hospital decal on the outside. The manufacturer, Secrest Industries, emailed investigators, we have no record of this chamber ever having a cylinder replacement overhaul. Based on the guidelines, this chamber must not be utilized for clinical use since the cylinder is over 20 years old. You got a minute? Uh, no, I'm actually headed into the office. Well, just talk just a little bit about what happened with uh, Casanova, the hyperbaric chamber incident. It's a new therapy in but the, but the chamber, sir, was used. You bought it used. And the manufacturer says that it should not have been used on animals. Did you know that? It's a hyperbaric chamber, sir. Right, but it was used. The manufacturer said it was, sir. The manufacturer said it was. Why don't you want to stop and talk to us? This is a serious situation, Dr. Waller. You can just buy one. You can get one on eBay. All makes and models. It blows my mind that somebody can be in possession of a piece of equipment that can cause such damage and there's no regulations on it. Casanova was not the first animal to die in a hyperbaric chamber accident. In 2012, an explosion claimed the lives of a technician in Ocala, Florida, and a horse being treated with oxygen therapy. Investigators believe the horse's steel shoes somehow created a spark to ignite the oxygen and cause the building to explode. Most animals seem to fall asleep. On its website, the University of Florida School of Veterinary Medicine shows how it's currently conducting clinical trials with its own hyperbaric chamber to judge whether oxygen therapy truly helps an animal. Dr. Waller, come out and talk to us about your vet board complaints. Dr. Waller already faces complaints to the State Board of Veterinary Medicine over how he investigated the deaths of two puppies customers bought from Petland of Kennesaw, where he served as the preferred veterinarian. Now the Holly Springs Police Department and Aaron Drum have added their own complaints to that list. And when my son started asking where Casanova was, I didn't know what to say. So I told him that um, when we were outside, some angels came and got him so that they could go play ball. Dr. Waller never called us. He never said, I'm sorry. He never said, how are you doing? And still no apology. A spokesperson for the manufacturer says even though the chamber was too old to be in use, 
That fact itself would not have led to a fire. But she was stunned to hear Dr. Waller put a battery operated fan inside a device with 100% oxygen because she said there was always a chance that the dog could have knocked it over and created a spark. Mm -hmm. And according to the investigative report, that's apparently what caused this tragedy. Well, and it's not like you can give the dog instructions right. to just stay don't, still. Don't in knock there. over the, the, the battery operated fan. How much does this? procedure cost to have your dog put in one of these hyperbaric chambers. Uh, Ms. Waller, uh, Ms. Drum said that uh, it was uh, $600 for the entire year, unlimited visits to the office and to the hyperbaric chamber itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but she also said that early on when she was taking the dog there, Dr. Waller asked her to write a review online about how great the hyperbaric chamber was. And she said she did not do that at the time and she is glad that she did not. Just heartbreaking for her and her family, her little boy not knowing where their family pet went. Yeah, you know, I'm interested to see what happens with this University of Florida study to yeah. find out whether this particular treatment really does work on animals because it's a growing area now among small veterinarians. They're, they're buying these used hyperbaric chambers and trying them out. Okay, we'll definitely be curious to hear what that the results yep. are there. Thanks, Thanks Randy. Randy. Okay.